You want to go to the bottom left and admire what you've done. It is perfect, isn't it? It is perfect, is it not? I mean, and he knows us where to go. Hello, my sexy sausages, and welcome back to another video. So many of you have been asking me how to get images onto your world just like they did on the Dream SMP. Right, so guys, what you want to do is you want to come over to, onto your server and click software. In here, you want to click change. Now, when you're here, you want to go ahead and click paper buckets. Now, guys, I did try using the 1.17, but it did not work how I wanted it to. Like, you could get an image on a map, but you could not make it go bigger. So, what we want to do is go ahead and choose 1.16.5 until they fix this bug. Go ahead and click that, and click install. Once you've got the tick, all you need to do is go over to this little puzzle icon over here and click it. Now, in here, you want to go ahead and search for image on map. <laughs> map, okay. So, go ahead and uh, click the first one that you get. And you want to go ahead and click the version 1.4.1.2 uh, uh, or any version that's above this guys because the latest versions are always at the top. Click that and click download. Wait for the tick icon and boom guys. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start your server. Click start. Click start. There we go. Click OK and then usually if it wants you to accept the EULA, accept that. For those of you who it doesn't actually start for, all you have to do is go ahead and click up here, click reload the page. So now then guys, I'm going to go ahead and meet you inside of Minecraft. Remember guys, this is version 1.16.5. Right, so guys, once you're inside of your world, what you are going to want to do is you want to go ahead and give yourself commands. If you do not know how to do this, I have got a video on it, and it is in the description and at the top right if you want to go ahead and click it. But once you have it, make sure you're in game mode creative, game mode, game mode creative. And then guys, well, as I'm already in creative, it doesn't really change a whole lot. But then once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and type in slash map tool tool then you want to do is you want to type in new and then paste in the image url that you copied for me it's not actually pasted for some reason so what we need to do is just go ahead and go back to the page elon musk go ahead and right click and click uh copy wait a second it's over here right click copy image address uh yep copy image address then what you want to do is you want to go back to minecraft make it full screen and click Control v to paste it in and nothing guys, you wanna click enter and it will give you a map where it's gonna start rendering and then you've got this map right here like this. Now guys, this doesn't seem like a whole lot right now, but if you go into options or into inventory and hover over it, you can see that it says um, 15 by nine, a total of 135 frames. This means that you guys need to actually create a wall with 130, yeah, 135 frames on it, which is like 15 long and nine high. So basically what we need to do is go ahead and get some frames. No, frames, there we go. Then what we want to do is you want to go ahead and find some sort of building block. I don't mind which one I'm going to go for, I'm just going to go for stone. So we need to get 15 along. And then 9 high. And then we literally just need to fill in all of this. So guys, if you have like the world edit plugin, this will be a lot faster for you. But uh, yeah. It's gonna fill this in. So guys, once you have got your template right there, what you want to do is you just want to cover it in item frames. I'm not joking. The bigger the image you have, the more item frames and more wool you'll need. So I decided to go for like a massively HD Im image. But like if you go for, for like a 4K image, it's just gonna be like much bigger than this. So just be a little bit careful about the size that you go for, because it will take a bit of time to create. Right, and so guys, once you have it like this, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your image, your splatter map right here. You want to go to the bottom left, and admire what you've done. It is perfect, isn't it? It is perfect, is it not? I mean, tis he, and he knows us where to go. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. It's perfect. It's just, it's just magnificent. Do you, do you see his finger? Or oh, it's pointing, it's that way. Do you see what I mean, people? It's just amazing. Okay. But guys, this guy is a legend, so give him respect if you ever can. If you guys do need any more tutorials on anything else, do feel free to tell me, because that is an absolutely awesome thing to do. Hey guys, just before you do go, why not subscribe? I mean, I do do these videos quite a lot, and I really do enjoy doing them, and I help you guys, so it's all a plus. It's a win-win for absolutely everybody. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.